Stream Keys multi streaming and Streamlabs setup is what we're discussing, including a $10 discount for Prime in the description. Stream Keys first. You need this to stream with Streamlabs, so navigate to the Live Center link here, which I've put in the description. And if you can't see this stream key box here, then it means you don't have a key. The stream key changes every time that you go live. Americans with over 1k followers can apply for a stream key through Carter Pulse, which is linked in the description. For other regions, then sadly it seems to be quite random with no clear requirements. But you can probably increase your chances by streaming a lot from your phone and by posting a lot of gaming videos. If you've already got Streamlabs set up like me, then just press go live in the bottom right corner. It's asking for the key. So let's go back to the live center here. We'll click on go live at the bottom here. We'll pick the correct category and the correct game. Fill in your info and hit save and then hit go live again. Click on live now. You're not actually live yet, but here's your stream key and your link. So just go ahead and copy this into Streamlabs like I'm doing now. And you're ready to confirm and go live. However, with Twitch now allowing multi-stream, I strongly suggest you stream on there at the same time. As you can see, that's super easy to do with Streamlabs Prime. I use it myself. There's a $10 discount link in the description. The only caveat with Prime is you need to stream in landscape mode. However, just look at my analytics here. Every TikTok stream was in landscape mode and I had no problem getting views. So just link your Twitch in the settings. Then when you press the go live button in the bottom right, you can see you've got Twitch options here as well as any other platforms like YouTube that you've linked as well. Your Twitch and YouTube chat will be on either side of Streamlabs here and your TikTok chat will be here in the live center. If you're a Streamlabs beginner, let's do a super easy setup. So just download it from the link in the description. If you want to stream on Twitch or YouTube too, then purchase Prime using my discount link. Once installed, click on settings in the bottom left and click on login. We're gonna click select platform and we're gonna click on TikTok. So just go ahead and choose your TikTok login method. Now let's add our mic, sound, display and camera. This is simply a process of repeatedly adding sources. So here's the four that I suggest. You need the video capture device, the display capture for your screen, the audio input capture is your mic and the audio output capture is your sound. Let's add display capture as an example. So I'll just click add source and give it a name. I'll just call it monitor. And once I've clicked add source, I would choose the correct monitor and just press done. Like I say, this is a similar step to add everything else. So just repeat that for output, input and video capture device. If you need to resize things, just drag the corners like this. And if you need to crop things, hold the alt key and drag on the sides and it crops it. If you're multi-streaming, I would also add another source, which is the alert box here. And that shows your YouTube or Twitch alerts. If you want TikTok alerts as well, then I have a whole guide on Tickfinity, which is in the description. A final note for Prime users, you can customize your Twitch alerts if you click on this alert box library here. There's loads of cool alert overlays. And if you click the option below, you can get custom overlays as well. As you can see, there's loads of choice. So make sure you take advantage of that if you've purchased Prime. If you want personal help setting up your stream, then check out my Fiverr page in the description. Join my free Discord to get advice. Subscribe if you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.